ladies and gentlemen, I'm here at the French Chamber Luxury Symposium at KPMG Heisen Place, and we've had a great afternoon with some amazing speakers. And one of those amazing young speakers, those millennial speakers, was Julian Bentz, the technology evangelist with 22. Hi Julian, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. I'm happy to be here, surrounded by uh, nice people, so it's really great. <laughs> now, Julian, perhaps you can share with us what were some of the key takeaways that you heard from the conference this afternoon? Uh, well, it was a really nice mix of many companies, many retail, all, they all focus on the satisfaction of the customers and there is so many ways to do it, collect the data, the technology, and uh, so the key is uh, the technology will uh, drive our future and, uh, and I'm here to, to help you to drive, so, okay. it, so it's good. That's good, helping us to drive the technology. Um, now, Julian, perhaps another question is, out there in the marketplace, there are a lot of retailers, a lot of retailers are scratching their heads about what they should be doing. What is your advice sure. to those retailers? Don't do the same as everyone else. Do something different. Um, don't use, well, we are focusing on immersive and interactive solution, right? Don't use VR, uh, augmented reality, the same way you are already using the, the marketing tools, the marketing uh, experience you do. Use it for something totally different. There is a totally, um, I mean, you do VR not to do the same as a flat video or something. There is a new story you want to tell to a customer. There is something totally different. And uh, as a consultant, uh, I'm here to help you if you have uh, any questions regarding uh, this uh, technology. Absolutely. And as a consultant, I'm here to help you as well. <laughs> we have each other. <laughs> Indeed. Now, Julian, something else that I, I do want to talk about is today we heard a lot about technology. Um, what, what's your advice to all of those retailers in terms of you know, which technology should I be using? Well, as I said, and as I keep saying, we believe augmented reality will be a massive change. Uh, so far, what I see is like all this retail, just for the sake of doing something new, they invest a bit of money, they do a small AR experience, and it doesn't have any impact. Uh, just because all the companies that are all running for mm. full competition, they need to do something more innovative, the buzz, talking about them. I wish they could think about the long term, how to have an impact on the customers. Mm -hmm. So maybe doing something now that will last for a long, long time. So making something maybe that will cost a bit of money, but that will use that they will use for a long time and that really change the way they do things. Mm -hmm. So they should immerse themselves in a, a larger project instead of just doing a simple proof of concept. Larger or I'm thinking about the caring group, what, they, what they've done with the um, uh, how I have all the words in French, the carbon, uh, I don't know, you can calculate how much carbon uh, footprint. Yeah, footprint, footprint, exactly. Use. This is, this will have, this has a small impact already yes. and this is great. So I wish you could have more projects like that. Okay. In AR, VR, MR, anyway. Okay, MR, mobile. Mixed reality. Mixed reality yes. as well. Ooh, mixed reality. I did not talk about mixed reality today. You did not. I and and how people. about AI? Because we keep hearing about machine learning. What about AI? AI is uh, on every mouth. Uh, Everybody is talking about AI, but nobody really understands what it is. Uh, you know, when you, you drive a car, there is a, when you brake, there is something to help you to brake faster and better, right? This is a, called ABS in French, I don't know, it helps you to break. This, now, we would call it AI, because the system is thinking for you. Mm -hmm. But it's not AI at all, just a, an engineering system that okay. helps the break to work better. So, AI, big words, nothing concrete yet. I'm seeing all this robot on the TV, I have no idea what, it, what is that, what, what, whatever they want to do. But I believe it will have a, a strong impact. You have to think about the bat, Baidu, Alibaba, Tencent, mm -hmm. the GAFA in US, these guys are already calling things. It's many years old, the data. And this is where the power is, the data. They are collecting everything since many years, and then when they will start to use it really okay. concretely, it's going to be crazy. So, if I'm not mistaken, 
you're telling us it's all about the data. All about the data. That mm -hmm. is true. And Julius, just for one final wrap up, um, how do you see 2018? Is it going to be an exciting year ahead? Is it going to be very disruptive? Really excited for sure. You know, they said in China 2016 was the year zero for VR. I hope 2018 will be the year zero for AR. And you, you know better than me, technology is, is going really, really fast. So we've done more the past five years than the past 100 years. So for sure, 2018. And it's my year, I think it's the Tiger year, so it's going to be my okay. year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the data. I'm here with Julian Bentz. <laughs> Correct. I had Thank to think right. about that. <laughs> and we're here at the Luxury Symposium, signing off with the BeFast TV crew. My name is Anson Bailey, partner at KPMG. It's been a great day of learning and we've heard from a lot of different retailers as well as lots of the technology evangelists just like Julien. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Thank you.